welcome to the newest installment of the Untitled Film Nerd Project. My name is Philip, and joining me as always is Teacher. Hello. This is night 18 of our 7th annual and consecutive 31 Days of Horror, where we watch a different horror movie every single night in October. And this year we changed it up a bit and are doing horror shorts, two every night. It goes without saying, but spoiler warning for the entire video from here on. If you haven't seen these yet and want to, go check them out and come back when you're done. So without further ado, let's get right into it with our first short movie of the night, which was Symmetropia. This was very short. There's like a like a like a psychiatrist kind of like therapy guy and his patient, and they're driving to a location for some like immersion therapy, pretty much. And it goes from there. This night marks the first time I've seen both horror shorts before. No complaints. But this one, I just remembered the name, but completely forgot the plot. Like it was familiar watching. Like I was it was it was very familiar watching it. But I didn't know what was going to happen next. So my notes are, well, that was unexpected. And also that. <laughs> <laughs> it's short, interesting story that I wonder how many drugs were taken when it was written. Because it's just a weird blend of things. Mm -hmm. Like real life and sci-fi and Michael Bay in there a little bit. And I like it. But it was so fucking weird <laughs> for, for like four minutes. It was just, it was interesting. I, I, it's, it, this one's hard to like really delve into because it's just like here's here's the people here's what happened to the end <laughs> and you're like oh okay that's kind of fucking weird so yeah uh, I liked it but it was weird what about you I completely agree with all that like I mean this one isn't exactly my favorite but I very much like it for its weirdness mm -hmm. yeah exactly. I mean for starters you have that phobia there the fear of symmetry which mm -hmm. has got to suck yeah yeah and then to be murdered by a symmetrical being. Yeah. And it, it, it just played out so weird. And like, I loved the setting and I loved the entire setup and just how it ended. And, and as you said, it's like, that's weird. And so is that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Enjoyable, mm -hmm. weird. And yeah. Yeah, I think, I think weird is like the only adjective you can really like. It's just so freaking weird. Mm -hmm. Good weird, but just weird. So, yeah. All right, let's move on to the second horror short of the night, which was On My Way. So in this one, we have a dude that's on his way to a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. And it's a bad trip to that Halloween party. Yeah, yeah. This one is probably one of the earliest horror shorts I've ever seen on YouTube. I can't remember if it's the first one, but it's definitely up there. Mm -hmm. And it still is like one of my favorites. Very brief. Mm -hmm. I liked the overall near attempt at a single shot. Yes. And the angles that they chose and the lack of story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just shit happening. It's left up to you to figure out what's going on. And yeah, really enjoy this one. You? Uh, as said, I had already seen this one, but it was vague. Like you think I was a pothead or something. Like, But it's been so long. This one stuck out to me because of the fantastic camera work. I remember after I watched this like years ago, I even sought out the team that did this one and they have like just cool, like behind the scenes footage of doing it. And I'm pretty sure I've seen some of their other work because they're like a small group of people who work together on stuff like this or they were, I don't know if they're doing this now. I hope they are. All I do know is that the main actor should be driving over my house right now. <laughs> Respect. Yes. But yeah, it, it had like a realism to it. It was as long as it needed to be, you know, it didn't drag itself out. It did a good job of not only camera work, but also timing, as you said, on the long takes of the actors. Also, like not only did they do like the long continuous take, um, the timing of the takes, but also the timing of the actors. Like they needed to be where they needed to be at that time. And the one person had to run like a lot <laughs> according to the narrative they were telling. So uh, it was cool to see that they were where they needed to be without interrupting the flow of the story. So that had been a lot of practice. And I respect the hell out of that. And also, small kudos to the gorgeous main actor for not looking at the camera, even though it was attached to the car right beside him and in his field of view. So yeah, if you've seen this one, there are like behind the scenes videos of it. Go check it out because it's really cool how they pulled this off. It was innovative and they thought outside the box with shots and angles and everything. Simple story. But as we said, if you do a simple story in a cool, unique way, it'll stand out. And this did. Awesome. Anything else? No, I think that's about it. Well, that wraps up night 18. Thank you very much for watching and or listening. We'll return tomorrow with the next entries into this year's October movie marathon. So until then, my name is Philip. And I'm TJ. And we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.